So it probably should come as no surprise that the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette recently said that delivering on job growth must be the top priority of the next county executive. So with that background in hand, I'd like to ask each of the candidates whether they agree with that Post-Gazette assessment. Is, that the is job growth the top priority for our next county executive? And to quote the PG, candidates must first deliver on job growth. Candidates who are either uninterested or incapable of becoming Allegheny County's chief booster, promoter, and job creator should look for another job. Uh, thank you, Bill. Uh, so I said it in my opening. I think the county executive is the number one salesman of the county. And in my opinion, we have a unique opportunity that's going to be presented to the next county executive. We saw the ships off the shore of, of California during the pandemic. And we know that American companies are looking to onshore their supply chain. We know that there's an opportunity in the next 8 to 12 years to bring business back to Allegheny County. And what we need is someone who has an executive experience, has been in executives' rooms, has traveled this country being in various companies, selling PNC, giving loans to those companies, helping those companies grow, and now going to them and explaining to them why their expansion should be in Allegheny County, why their headquarters should be in Allegheny County, why when they bring business back from, from China, it should be brought back to Allegheny County. Why their supply chain in Allegheny County, where by the way, it used to be. Quite frankly, we were the manufacturing headquarters of the country for most of the last century. It is our opportunity to go bring that back with the right county executive, with the right leadership, we can do that. But it requires someone okay, who's willing, minute, willing to walk into those offices and have the right face-to-face -face dialogue with those fellow executives. All right. I actually agree with having to attract and retain immigrants. Um, that's a key component. We also need to look at the macro trends and see what is applicable to Pittsburgh. We have a lot of women who are looking to enter the workforce, and one of their greatest challenges, barriers to entering the workforce, is access to childcare. This is where Human Services, which is nearly 40 to 50 percent of the Allegheny County Executive's budget, um, can be directed into making sure that we have more people who can enter the workforce. Um, we also are moving towards a clean energy revolution because we have to address climate change. One in three energy jobs in Pennsylvania are in clean energy, mostly in energy efficiency. That is such an opportunity for growth in our region. Um, and then we're also moving towards more uh, you know, we're in the digital age. Um, post pandemic, uh, a lot of the white collar jobs, um, especially in finance, you know, more than 50% are moving to hybrid or remote situations. So we're going to see office space that was designed um, for one set of workforce that is going to have to, um, you know, folks are moving, they're uh, lessening their footprint, and we're going to have to reimagine what those spaces look like and how they're used and how we. Um, spur development that meets the needs of the workforce today, not the workforce from five to 10 years ago. What you would do to address the issue of job loss in Allegheny County? So we have to stop getting addicted to the sugar high of drawing down um, or spending a lot of taxpayer money to build large construction or large like fossil fuel based um, uh, companies so that, you know, we're not just like having a sh short term amount of jobs that are in our region, but we're actually focusing on directing those public dollars for sustained um, and inclusive growth. So we have an unprecedented amount of money available from the federal government through the IRA um, and the, you know, other bills that have recently been passed. So we need to convene the universities, labor, economists, community members on how we are getting ready to draw down those dollars because we do have um, factories that are being built in Western New York, Ohio, West Virginia that are building up the economy of the future, EV batteries, chips. Um, we should be building that here in Pittsburgh, in our region, because we have the infrastructure, we have the workforce, um, and we have assets like our universities to be able to create the workforce necessary um, to be able to facilitate that kind of green and sustain economy.
Um, we also need to focus on our small businesses and our main streets. I live in Lawrenceville. I have a great main street. I can walk, um, and there's so many businesses there. We have so many assets like that throughout our region that need our attention so that we can revitalize um, our small business community and build folks up um, and also you know, mitigate blight and spur investment in areas that have been left alone left behind for so long. Um, the other thing we have uniquely in Allegheny County and in Pennsylvania is um, business owners who are aging. And when they age out, um, we're left with either a business that's gonna shutter or gonna be sold. And we have models like employee ownership, like ESOPs or cooperatives that we can invest in so that there's an opportunity for these business leaders to be able to sell their business to their employees so that it stays here and it continues to grow here. Um, one of our largest rob robotics um, or aerospace uh, companies, uh, Astrobotics, is actually an employee-owned business, and they source their material within 250 miles uh, of, um, of this region. So that's such an opportunity to make sure we're keeping businesses here and that we're, we have businesses that are community-minded and want to invest in the region that they call home. I will tell you there are two really big strategic advantages that we have to leverage if we're going to be successful in creating jobs. The first is the natural gas under all of our feet, and the second is the water we have. Uh, we have an abundance of, of energy that we can offer to companies. And if you're environmentally conscious, as I am, you have to acknowledge that over the last 20 years, it is natural gas, which has actually reduced the greenhouse emissions in the United States. And if Western Pennsylvania grows jobs that are currently in China being leveraging coal, we are going to make the global environment better by actually using the natural gas that's under our feet and in the process gain the jobs that come with that. Those good family-oriented meaningful pay jobs that come when you're actually making something and manufacturing something. And the second point is, is water. We have an abundance of water. Every manufacturing process requires some degree of water. We can use the water we have. Imagine a leader of Allegheny County walking into a company in Southern California and explaining to them that President Biden has just reduced the amount of water coming to you from the Colorado River. And at some point, your, your county is going to come to you and say, you have to turn your spigot off. You have, to stop, excuse me, you have to stop manufacturing over the next two months because we don't have the water to support you. Can you imagine selling Allegheny County abundant energy, abundant water? You will not have to turn your shop off. You can continue to produce. Come to Allegheny County. That's what we have to sell to people. We have to take advantage of who we are and what we can bring. And by doing that, make the environment for the world better.